Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to share with you some recipes for my favorite method of cooking chicken. I have prepared for you some spring chicken recipes. What I love to do is put a whole chicken in the crock pot, cover it with water, and I can make two meals out of one chicken and I have plenty of broth to make soup and whatnot. So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite recipes. Today we are making chicken ramen noodle soup and creamy chicken enchiladas. I also have something special for you at the end of this video, so stay tuned for a free gift. And let's get going. Everyone needs a good cooking hack in the kitchen to get the work done, get dinner on the table. This is also a wholesome and from scratch method Go ahead and put your chicken in the crock pot on low for eight hours or on high for three to four hours. Sometimes I even put the chicken in there at like one o'clock in the afternoon and it's still ready for dinner time. I love making a homemade soup with this chicken broth. So for today we are making an Asian inspired chicken ramen noodle soup. You can use whatever vegetables you have in the fridge but today we're going with cabbage and mushrooms and carrots. Miso paste is what makes this soup special. It is delicious. We're also gonna use Chinese five spice. You can find that at the grocery store. And this is optional, but this is a favorite spice that I get from Trader Joe's. You can just pick up packages of Topper Ramen noodles and this recipe can come together in like 20 or 30 minutes. Here is a wonderful and a little bit spicy topping to go on our Asian soup today. It's also fantastic on Thai curries. It's gonna be great for our enchiladas that we're making next. Just chop up some fresh jalapenos, top them off till they're covered with rice wine vinegar. You could also use white distilled vinegar. Throw in a tablespoon of sugar or honey and let that marinate until you are ready to use them. They also last in the fridge great for up to a month. When your chicken looks like it is just falling off of the bones, then it's ready to take out of the crock pot. I let it sit on the counter for at least 30 minutes to cool down so I don't burn my fingers. And then I take the meat off the bones. Okay, so this soup comes together in a snap. I'm just gonna put some oil down here in the pan and we are gonna saute all of our vegetables starting with our onion. Let that get nice and browned and translucent. Then throw in all of your fragrant herbs like your garlic and your ginger. I just shred my ginger right into the soup pan. When that starts to become very fragrant, then you can throw in your chicken broth. I think more is better with this soup. So you could, that's about you know eight to 10 cups maybe of chicken broth. And then it's about time for the vegetables to go in. Go ahead and cook all of the vegetables in the soup for about 10 minutes. So let's take a second and talk about some great Asian flavors. I mean, it's definitely gonna be the aromatic garlic and ginger that you're adding to this soup. But I also like the mushroom powders. You could use dried mushrooms. They are delicious with this soup. And of course the star of the show really here is the miso paste. This is one of my new favorite things for my Asian soups and it is a light pungent flavor, but it's what really makes this soup just explode with flavor. Another thing that's gonna add to the depth of the flavor is using soy sauce instead of salt. 
and I would just use as much as needed. For the ramen noodles, I'm just using the dry noodles that you can get in a package. You could also use the fresh kind that you can find in the refrigerator section in your grocery store. But that's just another thing that can make this soup super economical. It's pretty cheap to put together and it feeds a large crowd. I have learned it is all about the toppings, guys. I know you thought I was gonna say presentation, but it's, it's really all the flavors. <laughs> so top it off with some fresh cilantro or basil, with some green onions and your chicken. Put in a boiled egg in there. It's gonna make you feel super fancy. And of course, some lime to just cut through the soup with some sharpness, some tanginess, and our Pickled jalapenos are gonna add some of that sweet and sour as well. And there you have it. Fresh, homemade, with real chicken stock, chicken ramen noodle soup. Your family is going to love this meal. So this next recipe has become a classic in our house. These are our creamy chicken enchiladas. I came up with this recipe years ago when I first hosted Thanksgiving and I made this recipe with our leftover turkey the day after Thanksgiving and it's been a staple ever since. The ingredients are very simple. It's very easy to put together. We're gonna start by first preparing the sauce for the enchiladas. And that's just one can of cream of chicken soup. You could also substitute with cream of mushroom. One cup of sour cream. One cup of milk. And one can of green chilies. For the filling, you're going to take your already cooked chicken, about half of a chicken, or you could also say two to three cups of cooked chicken, and chop that up. Then we're gonna add one eight ounce package of cream cheese to our chicken filling. Some garlic powder. One teaspoon of ground cumin and salt and pepper. To the filling, we're also gonna add one half of an onion chopped and sauteed and one can of white beans. Any white bean variety will work. Isn't this just the easiest, most simple enchilada recipe to put together? I love it. Today I doubled the batch. I cooked up some extra chicken. I'm gonna make some freezer meals for a friend. This recipe works great in the freezer easy to pop in the oven and reheat. So I'm just going to assemble these freezer meals here along with a batch for our family. If freezer meals is something that you were interested in, go ahead and put a request down in the comments below. I always love good ideas for what you guys want to see next so let me know if you're interested in some more good freezer meal ideas what I love about this recipe too is there is plenty of sauce to go around so really smother these enchiladas in that sauce 
and I'm going to throw them in the oven and I don't even cover them and they still stay nice and moist. For freezing these enchiladas, I wanted to give you guys a cool tip. One thing that always happens when I bake up some frozen enchiladas is that the cheese always sticks to the top of the foil. And so to avoid that, I'm going to wrap the foil around the plastic lid that came with these containers. And that way it will make a sort of a tent that will keep the cheese from sticking to the top of the foil when it's baking. Bake these enchiladas at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And then after the 20 minutes, I like to sprinkle on the cheese and put it back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. I like my cheese to be nice and golden brown. Once again, it's all about the toppings. I'm starting to see a theme here. I'm just gonna sprinkle some green onions and cilantro on top of here. And of course our pickled jalapenos are going to make another appearance and some salsa. Okay, it's time for my free giveaway. I have prepared for you guys five chicken recipes. I'm calling it my spring chicken recipes. You can snag a free ebook of your own in the description box down below. I also want you to click on this video over here and watch some more spring recipes that I've prepared for you guys. I hope you guys love these recipes. We love them in our house. I'll catch you next time. Love you lots.